And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. A little bit on the cooler side of things with temperatures in the upper teens and the lower 20s under mostly cloudy skies. I did see a little bit of light flurries and light snow showers earlier in the afternoon, but we're going to be relatively quiet as we head into the overnight and then tomorrow we'll warm things up. We've got temperatures that are well above average uh, above normal off towards our west, but temperatures rising upwards and near 30 degrees above normal in Sioux Falls. We're not going to get that warm, but We'll certainly get into the lower 30s for tomorrow, so a nice little change in pace. Overall trend, though, a couple days ago was showing a bit of below average conditions across northeast Wisconsin heading into the middle part of February. Now that's shifting off to the east a little bit with a return of potentially some more milder conditions as we head into February. So a change compared to what we dealt with for most of January. Today, a little cloudy out there. Uh, if you like the clouds, I mean, there you go. You, you got your, your day out there, but we had some light snow showers. If you're hoping for some sunshine, it looks like Monday is going to be the most sunny of it all with uh, temperatures getting up in the mid 20s, but at least the sun will be out, so get some vitamin D. Area low pressure moving off to the east with the associated warm front. That's going to bring our temperatures up into the low 30s tomorrow, but then comes a cold front behind it, so it's going to be a one and done type of scenario. Very quiet weather, however, across the complete continental United States. We've just got these couple week little disturbances disturbances across the upper plains in the Midwest and that brought in those light snow showers and flurries. That's now moving off onto the other side of the lake. Uh, Mercat picking up on some light snow falling even into Duluth. But for the time being, next uh, couple of hours here, we're going to be quiet overnight, anticipating temperatures to get down into the mid teens. But it's going to be early in the evening. Winds are going to be coming in out of the south. That's going to allow us to warm up into the low 30s for tomorrow. Then comes a cold front. That's when the temperatures drop down into the teens and single digits by Monday morning and will rebound into the low 20s as we head into the afternoon. With that cold front that comes in tomorrow, there will be a chance of some light snow showers or a couple flurries. Doesn't look that impactful, but you can see right here, we could maybe pick up about a, a dusting to an inch of snowfall. Best chance of seeing any of that accumulation will be uh, a little bit up towards the Bay Peninsula and into the UP, but certainly kind of similar to what we saw for today. A light dusting of snowfall, not out of the question. In terms of temperatures right now, teens up in Pembine, we've got 20s along the shoreline from Serboygan to Ephraim. It's 20 even in Green Bay. It is 18 right now in Oshkosh. Uh, temperatures will drop down into the mid-teens tonight with mostly cloudy skies. Winds coming in out of the southwest, a light breeze, about 5 to 10 miles per hour, maybe some gusts about 15 miles per hour. Then for tomorrow, getting up into the lower 30, some of us might break above freezing. Winds coming in out of the west, 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then we'll start to cool off a little bit as we head later on into that 70 forecast. 24 on Monday, 33 on Tuesday, warmest day of the week. will be on Wednesday with a high of 36, a very slim chance of a little wintry mix. And then an up and down swing of highs in the upper 20s and lower 30s for the rest of the work week. We'll be back after the break.